I'm David Deserto with my 60 plus second review of the agreeable coming of age drama Lady Bird. Starring Saoirse Ronan as Christine, a directionless pink haired California teen who prefers to go by the self appointed Lady Bird. She has a complicated relationship with her mom, played by Laurie Metcalf, and mixed feelings about the all girls Catholic high school she attends, though her family isn't Catholic. In framing this deceptively simple setup, first-time solo director Greta Gerwig has crafted one of the year's most surprising and deeply human films. On the surface, Christine is a typical post-millennial, post-Christian adolescent. She sees nothing wrong with heckling a pro-life speaker, having sex with a brooding guitar player, or sneaking into the sacristy to talk about autoeroticism with her best friend while noshing on unconsecrated hosts. But there's more here than meets the eye. There's a restlessness to her, as if she's searching for something that will give meaning to her somewhat aimless life and value to her sense of self-worth. It's a compassionate film that has some honest things to say about the human condition. It also has heart, humor, and what Flannery O'Connor called almost imperceptible intrusions of grace, not to mention Oscar-worthy performances. Refreshingly, the film depicts its Catholic authority figures not as sadistic stereotypes, as is often the case, but as three-dimensional characters, not only sympathetic, but aspirational. Same goes for her parents, particularly her tender relationship with her dad, wonderfully played by Tracy Letts. Is Lady Bird a believer at the end? It's left open to interpretation, but the idea of faith is ultimately affirmed as a positive thing. In fact, it's atheism that is subtly scoffed and family bonds are celebrated as a source of strength despite human frailty. At one point, a nun tells Lady Bird, love involves paying attention. And while this film may not be for everyone, if you pay attention, there's a lot to love about it.